Scriptures for Discouragement For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John chapter 16, verse 33. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, forasmuch as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Submit yourselves therefore to God, Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James chapter 4, verse 7. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, verse 24. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 17 to 18. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which thus so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. John chapter 10, verse 10. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6.